You're watching Unrendered on IKTV. You can follow us at iConcepts. That's via Twitter. My guest is Sir James Mitchell, former Prime Minister, and Tony Rettisford. Sir James, at the hall. I know we want to get on to talk about airport. That book lets you um, be launched, but, you know, at the hall is also quite a, an interesting topic. Where you stand to be, let's forget everything that has happened before, okay? Because... You know, you have one side of your story, and you, you know, the 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 other detractors who, or the other people who are saying, well, yes, too much money was spent. It was this, whatever. Too much money was lifted and borrowed. Yes, not spent. But let us hear from you in relation to if you had the reins of power today, reins of government, I should say, and Otley Hall was an existing asset. What would you do with it? First of all, Tony, I am 100% a private sector person. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know me as a business. One even don't know, know I have a hotel, a frangipani, and so on. They see me as an agricultural scientist and as a politician. Yes. That project was conceptualized as a private sector project. And there were several components to be involved in the project. And what was completed was the facility for docking big ships and the flat area for storing or, or painting or cleaning up your boat. Right. And these are the pleasure crafts, the yes. yachts, and the power boats. But we also had the red, a steel marine shed for, for working metal. Okay. We had a first class carpenter shop. I don't know if both are there or if the people are there. There's a big place, a big room for the manufacture and repair of sails. Mm -hmm. there, was, there were facilities there for all the other facilities dealing with yachts. And while we are idling, if you pick up a copy of Compass on publishing, you look in here, there are 13 marinas around in the region advertising, mm -hmm. competing and going ahead with the business. They're building one now even in Caracou. I was concerned about using the resources of the sea, because we are an archipelagic state with a lot of water. Mm -hmm. And we not only must make money out of the land in agriculture, we have to make money out of the sea. And we had other projects. Right now, let me draw to your attention, Tony. Here we are. Look at that. Read. Right. That's Marine and Canon Island, preliminary des design. Yes. And the date. And the date is May 1998. In other words, we conceptualize and in our terms of other projects, but this was not going to be a government project. Mm -hmm. Private sector, what we need to do is to take shame out of the eye. All of those who criticize it are scared that Atley Hall will do well because it is a label on San Mitchell. This country has to do you really believe that the current government would preside over the failure of Otley Hall or deliberately try to see it fail so as to not vindicate or seemingly vindicate the concept, the, 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 the idea that it was a good project? I, I am not going there. Mm. I don't like to ascribe feelings to people. Yes. You know? I think that is mean, etc., and so on. But all I am, would say is, they have not carried it forward, and they should explain why they haven't carried it I forward. I am told. And I know yeah. that people have offered to buy it. Yes. And people, if they bought it, they will do fantastic a lot of stuff there. Yes. Because I, all the opportunities are there for the private sector, but government should not own or operate any business. That is my view. And that was the position for a couple hundred years now and the studies by people like John Short Mill, etc. Right. I don't think government should get into anything like that. I'm going to try to get Ormiston Ken Boy to, to come on the program.